Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with a new series starting this January 2023, Mad About Mini Paper Pads. I am also combining that with May I Scrap Lift You. And my monthly series for January is New Year Old Stash. And so I'm hoping to get all three of those things done in one layout. So this um, new hop that started this month was started by Moira and um, Crystal Barrett with Pineapple Papers. And they both have YouTube channels, amazing inspiration, amazing layouts. I adore both of them and I love to watch them create. And so when they asked if people were interested in doing this uh, Mad About Mini Paper Pads, um, I jumped on that because I do have a bin full of them and so I need to get them used. So I'm documenting these four pictures from my son's birthday and he is a St. Patrick's Day baby, henceforth the scrap, which is my goal for 2023 again. Um, and so for the mini paper pad, I am using this Paper Studio Treat Yourself paper pad. And for the old New Year old stash, I am going to use some of this stash that is as old as 2008. Um, this one right here and then some of these other things I'm not sure I've probably had four or five years or longer that green hat is really old and so I'm glad to get that used up and for May I Scrap Lift You I have this layout my friend Anna created from Peacecraft Love and it, I thought it was perfect because there was multiple layers um, and all these pictures so I thought that'd be a good way to use up some of the papers in this paper pad and she has mixed media on the back and so I brought in three different colors I think she only has two but I decided to do a little splattering um, and so I brought in a third and then um, I have uh, this background paper that came from a Colorbox paper pad. So I've got my papers, my scraps, my embellishments, my paper pad, my pictures. So let's see how this goes. So first things first, to trim my papers down. And then I got out a piece of packaging to smush my um, inks in. The first one I use is uh, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Blueprint Sketch. And I decided that I was going to put it pretty much everywhere. And I wanted it first because I want the green to be on the top and a little bit more predominant since my kiddo is a St. Patrick's Day baby. Um, one of these days, though, I promise you I am going to make a layout and my goal will be not a stitch of green on the entire thing. Maybe for 2023, that'll be the goal. So after I get that done, um, I felt like it was appropriate to use Lucky Clover, which is another Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Spray. And I just pushed that around in different places as well. I want to make sure I get it in the middle because I know there are gaps between some of her pictures that she has on her layout. So I get it in the middle as well. So it'll be peeking out all around where the pictures go. And then I trim my pictures down. Now, I'm not one of those who has to have my pictures all be the same size. Um, sometimes layouts call for that, but when they're like this, I don't necessarily care. I trim them down to where what I want to focus on is the main point of the picture. And since I kind of wanted these a little smaller so I could make the layers of paper bigger, I trim them down to where I am happy with the um, focal point. So what I did was every single one of the pictures, all four of them, um, has at least one layered mat of the four leaf clover scrap that I have and all of them have that blue and green striped paper um, that um, I pulled from the paper pad, the little mini paper pad. And then everything else has a different background paper, whether it is the donut paper, which of course, after I trimmed it out, you can't really tell it's donuts, but I know it's donuts. So, <laughs> um, so I got all of those matted down um, with three layers all together. And I put each of them down once I kind of finagle and get them to where the general idea of where Anna has hers um, is what I wanted because that was kind of the point of doing the scrap lift. Um, I like the concept of her having multiple layers of mat um, for her pictures, but I also like this, like where everything is placed on the layout. It's not uniform, like right next to each other. 
and it's not separated out into four separate corners. I thought it was a little bit different than some of the other um, quartered papers or layouts that I've seen. So um, I have a piece of adhesive or double-sided tape underneath each of those four pictures so that they won't move, but that I can still tuck. So I start by tucking this Imaginese, or Im, I'm not sure how you say that, um, but it is this 2008 birthday wishes tags. And the first one I pull says make a wish and I put it on crooked guys. I totally do. And while I would love to say that I can fix that, it is a, it is down like good. Had I not put, um, my double-sided tape on the back of it probably could have picked it up and maneuvered it but it's okay it's fine i'm i am not a straight <laughs> person i could not get anything laid down straight to save my life so it's fine so she has that pretty little um so beautiful down there and i thought this make a wish would work because um that is how i woke my kiddo up in the morning on his birthday is with that donut and then i went to breakfast with him at school and so these pictures are me and him me and my nephew who went to school with him in the same school same grade and then him and his buddy and that's why I have it covered over with post-it note because I don't typically share students um, or, you know, my kiddos' friends unless it's like big group pictures and you can't really pick them out. Um, I mean, these pictures are six years ago, but still I try not to, um, you know, have their faces in my videos. So, and then when I share this layout on Instagram and stuff, it will be covered again. So, um, just out of, you know, I guess if I had messaged his mama, who I am friends with, I could have asked her, but it's just easier to put a post note over it. It's fine. So I am using different stash. Some of this is from, um, uh, Stichopotamus, those blue balloons, I believe. And then those other ones are Crafter Square, the big puffy ones, like the balloons and that star. And then the happy birthday I put in the bottom corner. Um, those all came from Crafter Square. And they aren't necessarily in the same color, you know, pattern and stuff. I, I kind of have just green and blue everywhere. But I felt like the green in the balloon worked and the splatters that I added in the beginning um, are in slate gray delusion shimmer spray and that is actually the color of that balloon or very similar to that other balloon with the green one so i am okay with adding extra colors in there are sprinkles all over his cupcake you know there's color everywhere on this layout so i am perfectly fine with that and then i pull out my heidi swap date stamp which is my goal for 2017's layout is to date this each layout with that stamp and so here is Anna's sketch or layout again. I would love it if you all would go check her out. Peacecraft Love is her Instagram and her YouTube. She creates some fabulous things. She's been working on some smaller books lately and they've been a lot of fun to watch her create. And she and I do some hops together that are super fun and so it is always a good time. And then of course below will be listed the people who are playing along with um, the Mad About Mini Paper Pads, as well as Scrap Lift, um, <laughs> may I Scrap Lift you? Too many hops. I got to start writing things down, y'all. Anywho, thank you so much for sticking around with me in my crazy day, and I hope to see you again very soon. Have a great day, and happy scrapping!